Hi gang, Private Jack here. Uh, we've got another one of those questions in the discussion group uh, that is easier to make a tutorial about than to try and actually type out the directions on how to fulfill the requirement. So Adam the Amazing 64 has asked, how do I add more directories for custom content rather than just dumping everything into user mod? Well, it's pretty simple to do, and it's one of my preferred way of doing things. It allows me to check models out in Source Filmmaker to see if there's any problems before I use the model, and makes it easier to find the model when uh, I have a problem. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial, and this is how you do it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the game folder for Source Filmmaker. And here, what you see here is pretty much a plain Jane install of Source Filmmaker. If I was to open it up, I'd get my 6,000 models that come with the original download. In my user mod directory, I have added a couple of custom models. And if I go in here and I look at it, okay, I've got the administrator and the assistant, Miss Paula, uh, in my user mod directory. Now, if I start loading more models in on top of this, and the models that I add actually use the same model or the same materials as something else, what will happen is Source Filmmaker will get confused and will most likely crash. So rather than... Po oh, the other thing is, if I come down here to my desktop and I look in my user mod that I took out before, here you can see how my user mod can end up getting really, 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 really confusing and I have no idea what model is what and basically it's a real cluster. Anyway, let's get out of that and we're going to go back into the game folder. And this is the method that you do to add new content or custom content to Source Filmmaker without using user mod. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a model. Now these models are available through Gary's Mod or through Game Banana. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to load little Jack. So I'm going to open up the RAR, or the zip file, or the 7z file, in my favorite um, extraction program. And here, what I can see is I've got a models and a materials, er, materials folder. Now let's give the author some do, and this was actually created, I believe, by Max of S2D, and he has certain information here. This is his license agreement if you're going to use the model. Okay, so that being said, what we have is RAR up and running. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the game directory and we're going to create a folder. And I'm going to call this Little Jack. Okay, now that Little Jack is in the folder, what I'm going to do is come back into the, the uh, compressed file. I'm going to grab the materials in the models folder, and I'm going to extract them into that folder I just created. Now, once that's done, I'm going to go into the folder, and I'm going to make sure that the materials everything came over so that when I load up the program things are going to work properly. So the materials are all there and the models there and basically that's it. Now the reason why I say materials and models folders is because for Source Filmmaker to find materials and models it has to be located 
under the main directory uh, you have to have under the main directory you have to have a materials and models folder you can add sound you can add uh, maps you can add whatever under as long as it's directly under the main folder okay now that I've got that in there if I open up source film maker and this is where the tutorials start to drag on is opening and closing programs I can close off my compression program now I'm going to create a session I'm going to load stage and one of the big problems that people have with source filmmaker crashing is they don't wait for things to happen Basically, Source Filmmaker is in beta, and what you do is you wait for things to load and don't click anything until it's actually displaying something. So I've got stage up. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to create an animation set for a new model, and I'm going to go look for Little Jack. Now, if I type in Jack, I get a whole bunch of stuff. If I type in whatever, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to have a look. I should have created something in here, but it didn't. It's not in the user mod. It's not in the main folders. It's nowhere. The reason for that is that if you add content, I'm going to close Source Filmmaker now. If you add content to the game folder, you have to tell Source Filmmaker that it resides there. And the way you do that is by going into user mod and opening up the game info file. Okay, this will open up in a normal text editor and basically what this file does is it tells Source Filmmaker about what it is, what it's using, what its Steam app ID is, where to find its SDK tools, and down in here where it says search paths it tells Source Filmmaker about the paths that have models in it. This is the plain Jane sort, uh, game info file that comes down in a download. Okay. Now we've added content to the game folder and we called it Little Jack. I come back into the text editor and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line and I'm going to change the name here to Little Jack. Now the spelling has to be correct and it doesn't matter about capitalization. So Little Jack here, Little Jack here can be uppercase or lowercase, it can be all caps, it can be all little letters, it doesn't matter. I'm going to file save that. And I'm going to close the editor now. And I'm going to relaunch S Source Filmmaker. Now, if you added content to that folder and it causes Source Filmmaker to crash, you know exactly what caused the crash. You just go back in, you delete that folder, and try to load so, uh, the Filmmaker again. I'm going to create a new session. <coughs> going to load the stage again. And I'm going to wait for things to display. I'm going to go and I'm going to open, uh, create a new animation set for a new model. Wait for the model to display. Come back up into all mods. And if I go jack now, the first model in the group is little jack. And there's the child model. So, also, if I have a look in here, I will find that it has added 
the Little Jack folder. So I can now go find Little Jack and get him right off the bat. If it had been in user mod, it would have brought up all the models that are in there. And then I would have had to go through and find Little Jack and whatnot else. So basically, that's why it's a lot easier and a lot simpler. So coming back up into my Little Jack folder, I can now double-click him, and he'll load up in the stage. There he is. Now, I'm going to back the camera off, go into Motion Editor, uh, select Jack, tilt the camera so I can see the root transform, hold down the left mouse button, hold down the Shift key, and bring him up onto the floor and move him up onto the stage. And there's Little Jack. Now you'll see that he's all rigged and ready to go. And if I try it, go into Rig, Biped Simple, I find that Little Jack actually accepts a rig. And what rigs do is it allows you to move the bodies a little more easily. So if I take his right arm, for example, and grab his hand, when I move his hand through IK restraints, the whole arm moves. Okay, so if I get him into a position, and you just gotta move him around a little bit. To get him There he is. Okay, so that's Little Jack, and he's in there and able to be moved and whatnot else. Detach the rig if you want to add animations, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so basically, that's got Little Jack into Source Filmmaker. And like I said, it's a lot easier to determine whether or not there's a problem. So again, open up your model, then open up computer program files x86 or program files if you're on XP, Steam, Steam apps, common source filmmaker, game, add a, dr add a folder, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here now and I'm just going to pull these guys back in. And I've dropped them in my game folder. Okay, just waiting for one more to go through. Okay, I've moved all those into my game folder. And I'm going to go into Source Filmmaker Games. So I've added all this custom content. And if I look underneath the folders, I find that each of these have a material and models under the root directory of the folder. Materials and models. Materials and models. 
like I say, you can add other things as well and that will make it available in game. Then I go into my user mod and I edit my game info con or my game info uh, file, text file to include the content. And if I come down here and have a look, not that one, but this one. I already added them to my uh, uh, to my uh, folder. Do I have troopers there still? No. So I'm going to get rid of troopers. I'm going to change that for Little Jack. I'm going to save this as my game info text file. Replace it. Yes. And now that that's done, if I come into Source Filmmaker and I try to do a search for those models that I've just added, I'm going to find that it didn't add anything because I have to restart, even if I do a rescan. It knows about the Jack folder because we told it about it when we first started, but when I come in here and I have a look, None of those other folders have been added yet. I have to restart Source Filmmaker. So that the Source Filmmaker will reread the game info file. Create a new session, load up stage. Create an animation set for a new model. Now when I look in here, I'm going to find that all those directories that I added to my game info text are now available for me to use. And if I come into Left 4 Dead, these are the models from Left 4 Dead. Mama Bot. New Fem Scout. And if you ever wonder why these guys are sitting halfway through the mesh, the reason is, is because the root transfer is probably right where it, and er, where she goes through the mesh. All my P2 stuff. <coughs> the one everybody's looking for, Scout Girl. And Toothless, the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. So, in a nutshell, as I move around to fix this guy up and bring him up onto the stage, that, in a nutshell, is how you add custom content to Source Filmmaker without using user mod. Okay, so. That being said, hope you found this tutorial useful, informative, and with that, Private Jack out.